Hey everyone, Philip from Scan Unlimited, and today I wanted to make a video about our new features that just came out. The new features were introduced to add more uh, functionality, but also at the same time making sure that users don't feel like they have to download the file and open it in Excel. So I pulled up this scan, and this is, if you remember, from a uh, few days ago, or now, that was a long time ago few weeks ago, uh, I scanned a Melissa and Doug file. And at the time, you know, this is what it looked like when we first opened it. And from from here, what we did last time was we just kind of clicked the, uh, the sales rank. And then it sorted from smallest sales rank all the way to the greatest sales rank, which is what I usually do. And then what we did at the time um, was we just kind of scroll through here and we tried to find positive ROIs. Now this time, if you notice the little drop downs on the top, now we have the ability to add filters, but not just any filter, um, because we got rid of, there was a filter up here at the top. I don't, if you if you were a Scan Unlimited user before the update, the 1.4 update, there was a text uh, a text field that you could enter in some value and it would search the whole thing like everywhere in your scan now there's a filter for each column and that allows you to come up with some interesting combinations and it, so that you can really get to the data or the products that you are actually interested in buying something that meets your criteria and this is going to be different for everyone because certain people have different requirements. For example, if you're not approved for a certain category, you might want to filter that out. Or maybe someone might accept a 10% ROI, while other people might accept a, you know, they only accept a 70% ROI. So you have that ability now to kind of drill this down. So let me give you an example here. So I sorted by rank already, but if I click this drop down it gives me a little bit more uh, features. So for each column, you can add two filters. So quite a few filters you can apply. So since there's 12 columns in the scan and two filters per column, that allows you to apply 24 filters total. So you can really drill down and get to what you're looking for. So I already sorted the right, but let's just kind of, you know, get it get it drill it down even further so i'm going to say that i want to look for something that has a sales rank of gr greater than zero and less than again depends on the person but uh, i'm going to say two hundred thousand. so i don't want to see anything outside of that range so i click apply and you'll notice that at the top there's these two chips that say what filters are applied at that time so you'll see that if I scroll down, uh, it's matching my filter. Let's go further. We can actually apply multiple filters from different columns. So let's go over to ROI. I'm not interested in losing 92%. So let's filter that. If you click the drop down within the drop down, if that makes sense, <laughs> uh, you can choose something like, uh, let's choose like it. An, uh, it's a logical operator, so let's just say like greater than. I want to pick an ROI of about 50%. So I only want to see ROIs that are 50% or greater. So I press that, enter. And now we have a combination. So now I'm looking for ranks between 0 and 200,000 that have an ROI of uh, greater than 50%. See, that's very intuitive. I feel like that's very easy to kind of read out and understand what is being displayed here. So this is pretty powerful, like in a glance right now, without having to pull out Excel, I could be on my uh, laptop at a convention, I could be at the airport, and I can pull this up and I can filter through this because it's web-based, so I can pull this up anywhere and I don't have to open up Excel to do any of this. Um, and so we can see right off the bat, there's a bunch of items here that I would say are great. Uh, great to be sourcing. So um, this one right at the top, I mean 1700 rank with an ROI of 86. That's really good. Uh, you can even go further. Let's say I know that some people don't like to buy things that are a certain price point because like if when you get to the lower end 
um, the fluctuation in price can really make a difference on ROI. So let's even further filter this out. Maybe I only want to see things that are greater than ten dollars. So the 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 price right now, the the buy box price on Amazon has to be greater than ten dollars. Otherwise, I am not interested. So here we go. So now we even have it further down, uh, drilled down. So rank between zero and two hundred thousand with an ROI greater than 50 and a price that is greater than 10. So uh, I hope you guys, you know, mess around with the filters. They're very powerful. I found that uh, scans that at first appeared to be useless or horrible because uh, maybe the ROIs were horrible or the ranks seemed bad. Uh, once you applied some filters, all of a sudden, like, these items came out of nowhere. Uh, be, and I guess the reason is that you know, if you have a file that's 20,000 lines, it's easy to kind of like skip over things. I know that seems silly because like you'd be like, no, I would see it, but it's true. Like you'll probably skip over it. So it's a, I think, I think it's better to be able to filter like this and so that you can concentrate your, um, your efforts on the items that actually are something you would even purchase in the first place. So very powerful. Uh, probably the biggest feature of 1.4 and I hope you guys like it. So the next feature is not as amazing but something that we felt like we should be including because we always made um, we always made scan unlimited thinking that the sellers that were going to be our users um, were going to leverage the FBA service but not everyone does use FBA. And I wanted people to be able to be able to see their ROIs if they were merchant fulfilled versus FBA. So on any scan, even the scans that you've run in, or like if you've run this in the past, like before the 1.4 update, you're still going to have this option. And if you, you see here where it says fulfillment FBA, you can actually click that and toggle to change between FBA and merchant fulfilled. So if I press merchant fulfilled, you'll see that the Amazon fee drops a lot because Inside of the Amazon fee is the FBA fee, but also the referral fee. So now we're just looking at the referral fee, um, and you'll see that the ROIs dramatically improve. But of course, there is another cost that is hidden. You need to be able to ship the item now because with FBA, you didn't have to like uh, pay for the shipping to the customer. Yeah, you had to like get it to FBA, but. You didn't have to pay to get the product over to the customer. Yes, when you toggle to Merchant Fulfilled, the ROIs get better, but you have to include like what is it going to cost you to ship that product to the customer now because now you're responsible for paying for that shipping. Uh, which allows me to make an easy transition into the third feature that was released in 1.4, and that's the ability to add an additional cost for every pound that the item weighs. So if you wanted to add a cost to prep the item or added a cost to send to FBA, so the inbound shipping costs, then you can apply some amount of money to each pound of shipped product. So I'm going to give you guys an example and show you how to turn it on so that you can add it on because at, de on de at default, it does not apply any kind of shipping costs to your scans. So if you go to user icon on the top right, click that, go to your settings, and go to scan settings, you'll see that on the very bottom there's a shipping cost per pound right here. And this is going to default to your default currency. So if you like on this account I pick US dollars, but if I pick UYU, I don't even know what that stands for. Sorry. <laughs> You'll see that the shipping cost changes to UYU. So it does have to match your default currency. Um, but um, what this, what's cool about the default currency is that if you, let's say, you've uploaded a scan to uh, the French marketplace and for some reason the cost in your file was in pounds but your default like shipping cost is in dollars 
it'll figure out the currency conversions for you. So that's really cool. So, I mean, there's a lot of currency conversions going on. So it's pretty cool that you have this ability to, um, you know, have so many currencies involved. So in this case, let's say uh, I want to apply, let's, you know, and this is what your logic can be for the inbound shipping. Let's say you had a shipment, let's say it's like a pallet or something like that, and it costs $100 to ship it. And just to make it easy, let's say that that pallet weighed 1,000 pounds. That means it costs you 10 cents per pound to ship that, right? You kind of have to come up with your own averages um, because obviously if you ship via UPS or something like that, it might be it's going to be more expensive than pallets on a per unit or per pound basis, but, and uh, depending on when you're, where you're shipping, like if it's further away, it's gonna be more expensive than if it's closer to your city. So let's say you've come up with an average and you, and you found that it costs on average about um, 20 cents, US dollars in this case, per pound to ship your products on average. And if you press save, uh, it'll save your settings and anytime now you if you open up a scan now so if we go back to the Melissa and Doug it will actually adjust your um, ROI to reflect the 20 cents extra shipping cost that you're adding as an expense um, and you know you can be creative with it it doesn't have to just be the inbound shipping it could be like your prep costs right so um, if you have to buy poly bags for an item, what is the per poly bag cost of the uh, to you know prep the item? Uh, labels, um, tape, even boxes, and then you know labor. That's another thing, um, if, especially if you have employees to be doing these things for you. You can add this in. Another good uh, use for this is if you have a um, Amazon prepping company, so those prep centers. It, they usually will charge you like a per item cost to ship something and or receive and ship something so you can add that's a great way to add that cost into your scans so that it's um, reflecting the ROI accurately something to note is that that shipping cost right it's in your settings so that means that that that's going to be applied to all of your scans um, so you don't you won't have to like set it every time when you're uploading because and the re the reason why it's there instead of like every time you upload is that typically your shipping cost isn't going to change depending on the item because it is on a per pound basis yes there's a volume factor um but um generally you're going to notice that things are not going to change that much per pound um as you ship different products so that's why it's over there. Those are the main features that we incorporated into 1.4, besides a lot of um, additional performance uh, upgrades. So you'll notice that your scans will now scan um, up to 100,000 items per hour, which is the fastest uh, scan program that I know of. Leave a comment. If you have any questions about the new features, feel free to like the video if you liked it and you wanna see more videos like this. Consider subscribing if you want to learn more about Skin Unlimited, but also we do a lot of videos about how to source and how to find products to sell on Amazon and also how to better manage your Amazon account. Until next time, guys. See ya. Bye.